Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. This is the Terra Firmacraft Beta 2... Um, whatever. <laughs> Pre-39. Um, and I've done a little bit of work. So we're going to load the world. And we've got a couple of exciting things I want to try to do today. So... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I've done since you saw last. I know this is different. Um, I went ahead and used a chisel and made bricks for this. So this is a permanent structure. I can jump on it all day if I want to and nothing's going to happen to it. Um, so I've also collected enough wood to start it back up again. I've got a little bit left over there. <laughs> uh, and I've started that. So I'm going to put some dirt. i got to get a couple pieces of dirt. I think I need the two pieces of dirt. I'll just take a stack. Okay. And that's all ready to go. I've filled it up. So I'm going to light it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. There we go. It's smoking. I was kind of worried, <laughs> but it's working. So now we've got ourselves a, uh, a charcoal pit. Very happy about that. Um, what else? Not a lot else, um, but I do have good news. Okay, so we need a copper anvil. That's going to be important to us. Um, we are going to make a copper anvil by making copper ingots, and we've got copper, native copper, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to grab, I think I put it in here. Some charcoal, might as well grab that, might as well grab that, might as well grab a few of those in case we see some cows. I don't know where we're going to go to see cows, but carry a bed around with me. I clear my inventory out when I go down and get wood, so. Um, all right, so we're getting ready to place that, replace that bad boy, but to do that, we need to make copper, and I believe that all we're going to need to do is fill this thing up. I don't know how much, I know we're going to need uh, seven double um, 2x copper ing ingots. So that means we're going to need 14 copper ingots. And do we have enough? We do. We've got 15 of these, so that'll be just enough. Um, and then what we're going to do, because we have this bismuthonite, bismuthonite, um, hopefully we can go get this again. I think I just found a trace of that or something, so I don't know if I know where to get that. I wish I would have marked where I found it. Now I'm kind of bummed. I think maybe I found it over by the cassiterite. But anyway, today our goal is to make a a uh, bismuth bronze saw or pickaxe or something. Um, bismuth bronze is going to be really cool looking. We're going to make, um, well, we're going to be able to make four ingots, so we'll see what we can make with that. Um, but we're going to need to do alloy. Bismuth bronze is an alloy, and it requires 10 copper and bismuthonite, um, un unshaped bismuth, which I think is what we get out of this. So that's what we're going to do today. That's the goal, at least. And... We're going to be using this table to do it, um, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so first things first. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the copper in here and the coal as well. Oh, i got to do one thing. Hold on one second. Sorry, I had to go grab my coffee. That is some bitter coffee. I did not put enough sugar in it. Okay, so I'm really, really digging our little uh, Skyforge area, by the way. This is very cool. I've, I've actually considered whether or not I should leave some of this dirt or... Um, put this in. I kind of felt like maybe because it, the working area is all um, made out of uh, basalt, that the dirt kind of creeping in gives it that look of just kind of decaying and grass creeping in. I like it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it for now. Let's go use this forge today because we're going to want the bellows. And we're going to drop in probably basically all of our... Well, no, let's not do that. Let's start with just this. So I'm going to put twelve of those in. Actually, let's do twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's match what we're going to put in for copper to start with. I know we're going to need a lot of this. There we go. In fact, we might as well just fill it up. And that's all we can do. So. Let's go take a look at what we got. I like having a sword again. It's really nice. Okay, so we got 81 kilograms of ore and 67.5 of coal. And we're going to go ahead and 
bellow this thing up a little bit. So if you guys have seen the old, like in the old, you know, I don't know, movies, I'm trying to think of what kind of movies um, you would see it in, but in movies they have those big bellows that they use for like fireplaces and stuff. They're like, uh, they, they've got a pointy tip and they've got handles and they look kind of like a, an accordion in the middle and you squeeze them. They, they use them to stoke fires. Um, that's the same idea. That would be, I think in fact that is called a bellow. All right, bellows, um, but it's just a different kind. So I keep doing this, and the heat is pretty much as high as it's going to get, um, and it's dropping. Now I hope, <laughs> I hope that there's not something I didn't realize about this. It's very possible that I don't know what I'm doing. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm considering making a working chest. In fact, while that's doing it, I might. I'm considering making a working chest and putting it right there that would hold just metals. Um, yeah, see, that's dropping quickly. And I think it's because we've got so much more ore than coal. It seemed like it went back up, though, a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's hovering. So we'll let that go. Um, let's do that. Let's make a... I've got exactly what I need. Let's make a chest. This makes an ugly wood, I think, that, that green plank. I mean, I'm sure there's places where we could use it, but... Willows just makes an ugly wood. So this is going to be kind of the working chest. And I hate that. It always places it wrong. When we when we log out, log back in, that will be fixed. But anyway, um, that'll be the chest where we place ingots so that they don't get cold. And I think that will work. Man, that thing either needs to be bellowed or is just not cutting it. Maybe I need to put some more coal in there. just doesn't seem like it's getting hot enough and I don't know what that means I don't know what what copper melts at so I only have six I didn't get a oh no I put I put some extra in there let's go ahead and grab this let's grab some more charcoal because it looks like we're gonna need it today okay so let's go I'm not sure it seems like everything's kind of hovering and sitting in one place let's uh, put a little bit more coal in there if we can. Actually, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. So it's it's eating some coal. Let's go ahead and fill it up. Ooh, that looked like it dropped, so I wonder if that was... What's going on? That seems strange to me. What just happened? Okay, so we got all of that put out. I guess 90 is the max coal you can put in. Can I get that out without... I won't be able to get out of there, will I? Let's sleep, just so that we don't have trouble. But I don't want it to just be sitting there. All right, let's go just take a look real quick at something. And I can't stick anything in there. The best I could do would be to break one side of this off, which I guess I could do. And then I could get out. Or... Possibly, let's just do this. I just don't want to lose anything. There we go. Okay, excellent. So, a little bit more... Oh, well, we can't can't do any more of that. Let's not put any more of that in until we know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so... I need 14 ingots. I've got 15.86 kilograms right now. Each one of these... I want to see. So two. It takes two kilograms for each one. Three. Okay. So that means we're going to need about close to 30 kilograms total. And we got 15. So if we put in the same amount that we had, which I think we put in like... I can't remember how much we put in. But anyway. This is excellent. So we only got a partial. Let's leave that in there. We can leave that in there and get some more uh, ore in there. This is good. This is really good. Um, I haven't... This is actually... This will be as far as I've gotten in the game, as far as progression through all of this. Um, you guys saw me play last time, but I stopped after just kind of showing... It was Last time really was more of kind of a snapshot. Um, 
you know, just kind of take a look and, and see what, what the game is about. This time I'm doing a little bit more of a Let's Play style because I want to give you guys a really good idea of how much fun it could be. So let's go ahead and... I think that should be enough what's in there. It's 63. We've got... Well, we've got six right now, right? Yep. Uh, no, we got seven right now, plus almost eight. Um, so I think we're going to be close. I think we're going to be real close with the ore we've got in there. So as soon as this starts putting the output, it'll fill this first and then go into the output. Man, that thing's getting hot too. Our bellows is definitely working. And that has a lot to do with the fact that we have more coal than we do ore. So you can get it hotter as we have more coal than ore. So it's the, you know, the, the ratio, the bellowing, the, all of that stuff, the altitude, all that stuff has a huge effect. So, oh, you know what I haven't done? That's still hot. So let's put those in there. That's perfect. Those will hold. And this is getting hot. So really, the, so the, the, the way this works is it's the, the heat, the melting point of the ore or the material in the ore, um, and then how much, you know, well, that's it. And then, yep, there we go. As soon as it gets to that point, it just starts dumping it. You can see how it's, it's, it was dumping a ton of ore. The, two, the, few, the couple of pieces we put in there first, they melted, they melted, and then it waits a couple of seconds because it's how much time it has to be at what temperature before it will melt. So, you know, it, it knows when we put each piece in there, and so the pieces that we put in there earlier, they're starting to, uh, they're starting to, to come up to temperature, and then we can get some of those out. So there's one, two, three. It's going to be close, I think. <gasps> See, I, the reason I don't like doing that is because it wastes the ceramic mold, um, which I would rather not do. But I'm going to need to make some more anyway. So I'm going to have exactly enough to get 14 right now, and I am going to have to make more ceramic mold, so we might as well do that. We got more charcoal working. Yep, you can still see the smoke coming off, so that's a good sign. I went and gathered some more clay because I knew I was going to need that. I think I should be able to get six, right? Yeah, there we go. That will give me 24 of those, and we can start making some in the forge. Let's see where we're at. So there's some more. I can't put this back in there. Oh, I can. Excellent. So I can put that back in once there's something in the output. I can't put it back in until there's an output. That's good. That's really good news, actually. There's one, and we'll get one more, and we're going to have 0 .4, 0 0.04 kilograms left in there. So that gives us... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, 14, right? Which is exactly what we need for our copper anvil, if everything goes well, that is. I'll put this one up on a shelf or something in here. It'll look kind of cool. Make a shelf right there. That'd be perfect. Stick it up there. Okay, so it's still doing its thing. It's still got a lot of coal. I should probably smelt the bismuthinite down. Um, I might as well, I think. And I should probably, ooh, you know what I need, need to do? I have to get the rest of that copper out, so I just have to do that. And that's not very, it's not very useful, but I got to do it. I'm going to need a bigger chest, apparently, <laughs> I just realized. Uh, let's go put the bismuthinite in right now. We'll finish off with that. We got a lot of coal in there. We ought to use it up. We'll, we'll smelt everything we got if we, if we have to. Let's see. I'm not sure if this has any special requirements for smelting, but I'm just going to dump it in and hope for the best because it's all I got. Should have probably read up on it first. I don't think the I don't think the actual smelting process. There's much that can be done outside of just using the the bloomery and capturing it. All right, so this is going to get pretty hot pretty quick because we got a lot more coal than we do this bismuthinite stuff. Uh, but we need to get some of these. So let's put let's just go ahead and fill this thing up and light it. There we go. And now do this, put a couple extra pieces in, bellow it a little bit, get that thing blazing. And that'll start these things warming. They're getting pretty hot already. Oh, I got a couple extra ones right here. I'm going to grab those. Bellow this. And, ooh, man, that ore went quick. So let's see, how much? Yep, two. So these are all two kilograms, basically. There we go. That gives us two of these. Okay, that's excellent. So we got two, well, two in a little bit. I'll grab the rest out of it, even though it's a partial. 
Um, that's really good though. That one will be done soon. Um, that means that that we'll be able to make eight total of these, um, which we may be able to make some like bismuth armor, just bronze. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't know how. There we go. So let's go ahead and get that out. That's just a partial bismuth. Keep our partials down here. So these are all still brilliant white. So they are holding their temperature. We'll leave them until we're ready to work them. Um, these are coming out well. Those I should probably put in here as well. Keep their temperature up. And I need 10. So the next thing I should do is, is do some 10. I'm going to need that for the alloys. So let's do... I just can't remember. I'm going to do just 8 and see exactly what 8 gets us, just so that we know where we're at. This is fun. I'm not sure why it's fun, but, but it is. Okay. 10. And we got some 10 over here that we need to get out as well. It might not be hot enough, though. I think maybe you ruin your, your bellows when you leave it like that. Oh, no, we did... Or maybe when it gets cool, it just destroys it. I don't know. I don't think I don't remember getting it out. Maybe we did. Do we have a partial ten around? I don't know. Okay. Wow. See, when your bellows is hot, you put it in there and it just goes. So that gives us four point eight. Um, that'll give us. So this is definitely interesting. Um, these these top ones don't get as hot as the bottom ones do. Um, so this is your hottest point, and then here, and then here, and that's important when you're trying to heat metals, and you want to try to keep them kind of, um, you kind of rotate them through, because you're trying to keep them at the same temperature, so you can get them on the metallurgy table and make an, an alloy, which is a little bit tricky. So we're going to be eating up the coal, but that will, yeah. So one, two, that's all we need but we were going to have to get the rest out. And that gives us not quite half. So that's okay. I think that's about right. So that's a partial, and then we got our two. So this is this is good. And then if we get one, two, one, two, actually, yeah, if we fill this row and everything works to plan, we will get our eight, we'll get our, our copper um, uh, anvil, and we'll have exactly what we need to get our um, eight bismuth brawn ingots. And we might be able to make some armor with that. That would be really cool. All right, so let's see. We got a lot of coal left in there, and I feel like I just don't want to waste it. We might as well, I think we might as well just smelt stuff down. Um, what should we smelt? Probably, I mean, we should probably smelt some copper, so we're going to need a little more wood. We, we're going to need to make a bigger chest. I don't like that. Maybe, maybe I'll move this put the chest there because I want a double chest for sure um, I hope you guys like this let's play style on this even though it's it's not a traditional let's I mean although I guess like the, the Chrysan guy that I've mentioned before that does the uh, spotters guide stuff he's doing more or less a let's play he started doing a uh, but I think he just got into it and realized it was going to be have a little more legs than he originally thought all right, we can pick that up, double up this chest. That will help us. Um, let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and do a lot more copper. I think we're going to need a lot of copper in the future. We don't need as much tin as we do copper. So I'm just going to dump in. Start with eight. Let's see where that gets us. Let's go ahead and sleep. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. It's it part of it is the I think the same appeal that just kind of you know beginning Minecraft has, um, and that's not going to take long at all. Part of it is the appeal that just kind of the you know starting out in Minecraft the same type of thing. But I think part of it is also um, well really not not also the same exact thing except that it's just a lot more complicated and you've got a lot a lot more to do just to get kind of your basic setup going, which is the way it was in. Minecraft, when you first started out, that's kind of how it felt, at least to me, because um, you didn't know what you were doing. You didn't really know what was ahead. You didn't realize how much work there was to do. Here is kind of the same thing. We, we know a little bit. Um, we know enough to know that there's quite a bit of work just to get some of the basic metals, but then we don't really know what's out beyond that and how much more work we're going to have to do. And I think that's part of it. I think that really makes it 
Um, not only we know that there's a lot of complexity just with the stuff that we are dealing with, but we know there's a lot of complexity out there that we haven't met yet, which is just really fun for me. I like, I like working really hard to get to a certain point. I mean, this has been just getting this, which I consider to be a, a pretty good setup. I mean, we had to do some thought behind the design. Um, we had to really kind of work to get the materials, even to get this set up and to get it working. Um, just to get the just to get the chisel was you know the biggest part, and then getting you know getting armor is going to be a lot of work. Getting an anvil, getting a a sword, all that stuff. We had to to learn a lot and do a lot. And I think for me that just makes it um, that much more rewarding to get the stuff. And then you know once we actually get a decent build around here, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be one of my favorite videos to be able to go back and kind of watch. Um, which I haven't started doing yet, by the way. I'm not to the point in my video making career where I'm going back and re-watching videos. Um, I think you do get to that point eventually, but I haven't gotten there yet. So, um, man, this uh, this bra this copper definitely takes longer to smelt than the rest of it. The other ones we put them in and they were basically just heating up and going, but these are taking some time. Keep that bellows going. Get that really hot. It's using up coal. And yeah, we put a ton of coal in there. That was a, what did we put? I think we put at least, what did we put, 16 to start? <laughs> and I think we might have tried to add to it. Maybe that was just too much. So that's going. We learned our lesson there. There we go. Dumped it all out. 6.52. You're never going to hit an exact number there, I don't think. Okay, so you can... Right click. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's interesting too. Once you've, I noticed this, once you've put one in there, you can't put it back in the stack. Once it's even just been put in that, it, that's, that's really interesting. All right, so we've got a lot more copper. So that's enough. Well, no, it's not. We need, we need to fill the rest of that one, which is what we're going to try to do. We're going to take this out. We're going to try to fill that one. I'm going to just try to guess. I'm going to try three of them and that's why you can tell that's you know when we were smelting in the fire pit we were wasting some for sure because we didn't have the ability for the for this thing to hold it for us so let's just try this let's put in three we've already got a little bit in that one i would really like to get to where you had no waste if you kind of knew what you were doing you could get there i think all right those are good bring these down to the hotter area bellow this thing and stick that in there and this one will save so that ooh, well see i don't know what i also don't know what the ore to 13.5 let's see what that yields us because we're at zero right now whoops and then we'll do a little bit more tin and really i guess i could probably stop at this point the only thing i got to do is figure out where to put this table where am i going to want that the only thing I could think is right there, but I don't like that. I want to keep the anvil open. Um, I could put it right here on the end. That doesn't feel right, though. It doesn't feel like, if anything, this. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I'll switch these out. This should go down there on the end. And this should go over there, because this is crafting. That's fine there, but this needs to be right by. And maybe right there. Yeah, maybe right there. That that's nice, actually. That's exactly where that's gonna go. Awesome. All right, where are we at? Thirteen point five. I'm glad I didn't remember what that was. Thirteen point five. Let's see how much that yields us. I'm probably already near the the thirty minutes, so I'm gonna have to pause and do some of this work offline. Um, oh, we're not gonna know because it's gonna go straight into here. Well, we can we can pull that out. And we're eating up our coal, which is good. We'll probably put a little more cassiterite in, and then we'll probably be probably be close. So let's take a look. These are all still keeping there. We can pull those out and start working with them in a minute. So we got to get. What I'll do is work one of them just so you guys can kind of see what it's what it's like, and then do I have the metal hammer somewhere? Right there, the tin hammer. Although I don't want to really don't want to use that. Um. You can see what it's like to work the bronze, and then I'll go offline and work the rest of these into ingots because that's a lot of work. Um, four of them I don't want to work in. Oh, I forgot. I should use that too. We'll see what this ends up yielding us, but I can combine that with this one. 
Not only that, I can use it. I'm going to use it. I can put it in there. And Okay, so 2.5. 3 gives us 2.5. So that means that 6, in theory, I should check that. 6, six of these, in theory, would give us um, 5 exactly. So 5 ingots. That would be interesting. So this, let's see where this gets us. 0.5. Okay, well, that's exactly what we needed. So now we've got... The additional ones we want. We don't want to work these into ingots. We're going to use those for the alloys. This one is an additional. Um, I can make some more tin, and we'll do that later. That's that's good to know. So three is so if you put for every six you put in, you're going to get five. Maybe that's just true in general. Okay, let's go ahead and put that cast right in because I don't want to waste that coal, and I'll start working some of these ingots down. We'll work one of the bronze ones, then I'll go offline and finish that. Um, I might actually what we'll do is we'll, maybe we'll work. Maybe what we'll do is we'll work um, work two of the ingots and then do the welding because I think that that's easiest to do right away. All right, got a fair amount of those. Doing pretty good here. We'll let that thing go. It's not going to take long. And let's pull some of these out. So let's just take two out to start with. And let's make, while that's cooling, let's make ourselves... I need some... Mmm, basalt's probably good. Let's just take that stack. I need to make a ha couple of hammers. I want to make sure I have hammers on me when I'm doing this. Um, I think a ha I think we can work these with stone hammers, but I'm not actually 100% sure of that. It might be that we need a tin hammer, which we have, so we could use. Uh, all right, so where are we at? We got yellow. These are at liquid stage. Okay, so this is going to need to be a hit. So third, second, so just hit. So this is basically the same thing as all ingots, it looks like. Um, so we're going to go... I think I'm going to do this time, I'm going to do a little bit different. Oh, we're actually way, way... Oh, no, there we go. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Heavy, 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 heavy. Bring him down here. Crap, no flux. Uh, flux, flux, flux. There we go. Flux, weld. Okay, there we go. Got one. All right. You guys saw it. It's not that bad. I'll put that in here so that can be worked. Although it doesn't need to be worked. We're going to use it for an anvil. Okay, so you guys have seen that. Let me go ahead and do the rest of these. I will get seven of those, uh, seven of those things going, and then I'll be back, and we'll start the next phase. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Uh, a couple things. I went ahead and grabbed all the rest of the tin out of here. So we've got our tin and some copper and these are all holding heat, which is excellent because then you can leave them in here at this heat and then you can pull them out and kind of work them down exactly how you need to. Um, I, I should have pulled kind of all of these out. Now that I'm comfortable with this process, I got my seven double copper ingots. Now that I'm comfortable with that process, I could have pulled those all out um, and kind of used them as they, they would have all kind of heated down about or you know kind of around the same time because it does take a while i had to like leave them sit here and watch some b double o play nba 2k12 <laughs> while they were cooling down but i did get them so anyway um yeah we're doing good um i got all of these i think what we're gonna do um i'm gonna grab these now and we're gonna make our copper um well, let's go ahead and sleep i guess make our copper uh anvil the reason we need a copper anvil so so it's not just an upgrade and it's going to look cool although it's going to look freaking sweet um it you have to to do anything but like tin and zinc and some of the lighter um more malleable metals you have to upgrade to a copper and then eventually we're gonna have to upgrade to another one to get other stuff i'm not even sure exactly what but um this one will only get us so far and a copper anvil is required for um, working bismuth bronze, which we'll want to turn into an ingot. And so there's a lot of reasons to do it, but um, least of which is not just that it's really, really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hammer out of here. That anvil's not long for this world. I'm going to put it on a shelf up there. It's going to be cool. Um, but I think these are all very hot still, but I don't think that's going to matter. Um, because we have a copper anvil. And I think we're just going to call it a video. Um, I know you guys will be disappointed in that, but um, I'm trying to keep them around 30, and this will be two in a row that we've gotten pretty close to 30 
30 minute videos. So bam. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is so sick and sweet. I'm serious. That makes me so, you don't even know how happy like that right there. That might be so far that my favorite thing ever that I've made in Minecraft right there. Favorite thing ever. So, um, really cool. Let's see. How's this thing doing? You know what? This torch has got to go because that torch is always making me think that it's that it's smoking. How are we doing here? It looks done to me. It doesn't look done. It should be done. We've spent a lot of time. There we go. And we just walk into our sweet new cellar. Ooh, wow. Okay. So what did we do wrong the last time? Man, alive. Maybe it's just that variable. Last time we got two stacks and one. This time we got three stacks and nine. Maybe I messed up last time. Maybe I didn't fill everything to the max. We'll have to do it again and see, but that is awesome. That is excellent. Or maybe like, you know what would be cool is if you're, maybe this helps. Maybe what you use on the outside helps. Um, maybe you can kind of like as you start to use your fire pit it gets better at holding i don't know i'm just making stuff up but that's that is excellent news we needed that man now we've got almost four stacks of charcoal which is which is good for us um i do think that getting us getting ourselves some uh, armor would be excellent like a chest plate or something um so that we could start to go and and do some of those cake cuz remember we're playing on hardcore as usual um let's see hardcore so you know it might be nice to be able to go and do some of those uh caves and and be able to check because there's a lot of caves around here and there's probably a lot of great ore um you know there are other ores that you have to like i'd love to find some gold i don't even know what um where you have to be to find gold but it'd be cool to be able to kind of you know get down in a cave mine around to some other biomes and in one mine kind of get a shaft going that you know and then once we get some iron we could get some mine carts and stuff so Anyway, I think we're good. I think that that we're just going to stop with that. I'm going to take a screenshot of that thing, and that is going to be my favorite thing ever. That is so cool. It's cool looking, and it was really, uh, it was really rewarding trying to to build to that. And it's just it's just awesome. I don't know what else to say. So, um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll start the next one. I, we, I was going to go ahead and just say, you know, we'll have a long episode. We'll start doing the biz with bronze stuff right now, but. The, the way that we end up doing this, the way I work, it would probably end up being a, a 45 or 50 minute episode again. And I just think that we might as well, um, might as well give myself some, some slack for the next episode. <laughs> we'll do that and maybe we can work it all the way through and see what we can make with it. So I think it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I've never done it before. That's the other reason I'm hesitant to start it right now, but I'm going to go take care of those mm, floating stinking pieces of dirt pretty soon. And I'm going to go start gathering some more wood so that we got it ready to go so we can get some more of this. Man, I'm happy with this. This is just a lot of fun. This is this is really rewarding. I'm extremely happy with this so far. So one of the next things we're going to have to do once we get some, some of the metal work taken care of um, is we're going to have to go explore and quarry a lot of different types of rocks and make ourselves a house because I know a lot of people are excited to see what I'm going to build with, with what we got. So maybe down there. That's a nice looking little, uh, maybe right up there could be the house. I don't know what the view looks like from over there, but it's right by our farm that's down there, and it's got that nice little cliff right next to it. That might be that might be perfect. So anyway, guys, I appreciate it. If you uh, enjoyed it, thumbs up. Um, oh, you know what? Well, yeah, that's right. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Minecraft OTB, Facebook.com slash Minecraft OTB. Um, Definitely leave me comments. I will respond to everyone. I respond to every tweet. I respond to everything that you guys... I still can do that. And this is my main hobby. So I, I do respond. And I really care about hearing from you guys. So if you respond if you, if you respond in a comment or a tweet, I will respond. And if I don't, there's a good reason why. Just hit me back and I probably missed it or something. But um, I really I really enjoy getting it. And I have a small audience. So it's, it's fun to have it kind of tight-knit and everybody to be... Um, everybody to be close and communicating. So anyway, I really appreciate you watching. Tell your friends. I'll talk to you next time.